What's today, Lou? It's travel day. It's been a very, very long time for me to go to actually get on a plane, so um, I'm excited. We fly out to Miami from Miami. It's gonna be another another road trip, We're huh? Going to actually take the tri train to tri rail, tri rail to Fort Lauderdale, and then um, Uber from there. Yep, we're on our way. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. This is Jay and, and we are finally together, guys. We're on our way to the airport. It is 47 degrees here in New York City. It's so, about to start raining, so we got to get yeah. cracking. What do you yes, think? Yes, we do. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. So today we are at LaGuardia Airport, waiting to catch our bus to the terminal. So we're here at LaGuardia Airport, and uh, yeah, we're. Excited. It's cold. It's very cold. Here. It's forty-seven degrees in May. It sucks. What happened to the summer? We're going to eighty degrees though, in Florida. Hello. See, my tan is under the peel from my last NCL cruise. Lewis has to catch up. Lots catch of catching up. up to do. All right, guys. I'll see you at the terminal. We made it. Yeah. We're LaGuardia. It's still surreal, right? Good morning, everyone. Well, yeah, we're excited. The X Journeys is together once again on board another journey. And we're ready to check in. Our flight's delayed till 10.30. We're supposed to leave at 9. We could have slept in an extra hour, but anyway, here we are, right? Let's go. Cool. Today, I was picked to be a random passenger. If I'm out of uniform, if I'm out of uniform, I have to travel or adhere to the rules like a regular passenger as far as your liquids being three ounces and all that jazz, you know what I mean? So I had some big stuff. I had a bottle of wine also because we're allowed to bring a bottle of wine on board our cruise. Not to mention the bigger um, sunscreens that are bigger bottles that we need for, you know, so I have to move all my bags with the big liquids over to uh, the big bag. Excuse the noise, guys. So I was not happy. Then I was having problems checking in with the computer system would not pick up my reservation number. Lewis went through without a problem. Usually he's the one with the issues, and today was me. So he said, well, going forward, you have to travel. I said, no, it's, uh, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a gamble. You know, sometimes I had a bottle of wine and I go right through without a problem, no issue. But today, and then the TSA people weren't very nice either, so. Hey guys, so here we are at our gate. The morning was a little, little rough, but again, we're gonna leave it behind and we're gonna have a wonderful, wonderful vacation. Yes, we are. Yeah. And here we go again. Settling in. I'm finally on a plane. Now it's vacation time. It's a wrap now, huh? On our way to Miami. Miami. Then we're supposed to try a relic from Miami to Fort Lauderdale and from there Uber to our hotel. So it's gonna be another another journey. So everyone flight time is two and a half hours to Miami. We made it to Miami, guys. Yes, finally. We're here. Now the we got a plane was freezing, y'all. Yeah. 
freezing. It was freezing, but now I need to find a restroom so I could change my clothing because whenever you fly, standby, always represent the company you're flying for. So everyone, we made it to Miami. Um, Louis had to go to the little boys room. Um, yeah, so now we're all the way at gate D50. We gotta get to D25, I believe. It's to exit the terminal. From there, we have to walk to catch a metro rail that's gonna take us to catch the tri-rail that's gonna take us all the way up to uh, Fort Lauderdale. The cost for this is only $5 per passenger, so we were gonna rent the car. I said, you know what, let's just save that money and make this another crazy adventure. A BX journey adventure, of course. Don't forget that, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. You all right, Lou? Yes, yeah, so we're going to get the baggage from the baggage. Then we have to catch the metro rail to the tri rail. That's another journey there. Yep. However, I need to change for into some shorts because it's 83 degrees and we just left from 47 degrees. It was, it was cold. And the airplane was freezing, y'all. The airplane was freezing. So when I came to security in New York, I had to I had to check my bag because I had a bottle of wine in there. I had all stuff I wasn't supposed to bring as far as more than three ounces in liquids. So when I'm at a uniform, I have to adhere to those rules when I'm random, right? So now we're here baggage clean to get my bag. I had to move stuff around. I had to put all the liquids in my other bag and check it. <sighs> the luxuries of traveling. And there's my bag. We made it safely. Thank you, Lord. Right, Lou? Yep. Let's go. Lou's has left the bathrooms here in Miami. Again in the bathroom. Well, this time he's going to change to something more comfortable. Um, when he travel pass rides on my, on my passes, he, um, he likes to represent the fact that I work for the company. So he's always, I guess he says I trained him that way. <laughs> So now he's going to change into something more comfortable for our commute to Florida by train. So again, um, another cruise on a budget. Okay, we are actually doing a cheap version of traveling to Fort Lauderdale. Instead of flying directly into Fort Lauderdale, we flew into Miami International Airport. And we decided, you know what? Let's just take another journey. We're going to go to level three. We're going to catch the Metro Rail. From the Metro Rail, we're going to walk, take the Metro Rail down to try the tri-ground. Correct, now let's go. Let's go. Let's go in the elevator. All right, here we are guys, level, level three. three. Let's find the trail route. And here's a trailer metro route, so let's go. It's gonna be a little walk. I know, very slowly. We're not gonna rush, we got plenty of time. Miami Rover, okay. signs all the way around Louis looks like he's going backpacking look at him <laughs> this is to continue walking not to stand here like the observer and just look cute right that's all you gotta do <laughs> all right here we go Still at it. I need coffee. Please give way to this embarking passengers. And this is the Miami people mover that's gonna take us to the tri rail Always be courteous guys, let people off the train before you get in. FYI. We just got off the Metro Rail, which was literally one stop. Now we're just going to follow signs that says Tri Rail. And um, there might not be an elevator, guys, to, to um, go down the steps. So I made a deal with Jim. I said, we do this little journey of just taking public transportation to Fort Lauderdale. I'm not going to complain 
of how heavy his bags are. Now let's just hope they have an elevator that takes you down to the tri-rail. If not, I'm gonna be lugging a whole bunch of luggage down the steps without making one single complaint. Let's go. I, I love my dude, I do. But that was a deal, you know? Cause I initially didn't want to do this. I wanted to just fly with a connecting flight to Fort Lauderdale. But I said, let's just do this and make it a make it a BX journey. Correct. Here's another sign. Just follow the sign to the tri rail. Oh, here's the exit to it. Good, good, good. We're going the right way. Yes. All right. Just follow the signs. It is a little walk. Though. It is right. But it's it's good exercise. We're about you... to go on a cruise, so we need to burn some calories. Yeah, Lewis stole my donut that I bought from Dunkin Donuts. Exactly. He ate it all, now he has to burn it off. Another vlogger to this journey, and he didn't quite specify if there were trains or not. So, I mean, excuse me, elevators to go down. And then we saw him climbing all these steps. I'm like, I'm not climbing down with all these bags. And this is the machine where we buy the tickets and Lewis is gonna do the honors. No easy card. It is 2.19 right now here in Miami and the train is scheduled to come at 2.50. So they come on the weekend since it is a uh, Sunday. They are they, they pretty much operate every hour on the hour. So the next one is at 2.50, which is in another, I don't know, 40 minutes or so. Um, Made it on, huh, Lou? I did not have to carry the bag down the steps. It was an elevator. You did a good job. I won the bet. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> so we made it on board the tri rail. Um, I think this is probably late from the 150. Yeah. Because we were supposed to wait 40 minutes. I think this is the 150 one is late. So hey, it worked out in our favor. So we're on our way down to Fort Lauderdale, and from there we're gonna Uber to our hotel. So it's gonna be about 40 minute ride or so. Come on, let's go. We stand corrected, this is the 250 train. So now we gotta sit here for another uh, 22 minutes before minutes, we depart. Yeah. It's all right. It's not bad. We're here. We get to relax. Chill. Private section. All right. There's five stops. How many stops? Five stops. There's Lou Bear doing his research. Go ahead, Lou. Go ahead. See you later, Miami Airport Station. Here we go. Two fifty train is on the way. We just arrived at our first stop, Hylia. Hylia Market Station. Highly Market Station, ladies and gentlemen. Northbound train. And we still need another one. Four more stops. Four more stops. stops. Back of food. 
Yeah, let's I'm go. Starving. We're getting off next stop, right? Yes. All right, let's go. And there goes our ride. We're here in Fort Lauderdale. Thank you, Tri Rail. We made it to Fort Lauderdale. That was a nice little ride. It wasn't bad, you know? And I was hesitant about it. Lou did it again, right? Yep. <laughs> so now we gotta get our Uber to the hotel, which I think it's about $10 ride from here, which is not bad. All right. These things just started to come down because the train is coming. Oh God. So now Lewis is ordering the Uber and the Uber is gonna take us to our hotel. From here, it's gonna cost us about nine to $10. Our ride to the hotel. Thank you, Lou. Yeah. So here we are. You know, Uber's gonna take us to our hotel. And uh, yeah, the ride was not bad at all. It was actually nice. It was fantastic. On our way, once we get to the hotel, we will give you a tour of the room, at the hotel, and we'll take it from there. I said we could find something. Lou was hungry, so, so am I. He ate my donut. He took my donut this morning. I bought me a donut because he didn't want anything, but he tore it up and I'm starving. Mm -hmm. Here's our hotel. We made it. Finally. It was an easy commute. It wasn't bad. It really was. It really was. It wasn't bad. Now we're staying at the Avid Hotel, mm -hmm. which is literally like 10 minutes from the cruise port. Which is not bad. You make a left. Let's see, our room number is 221. Thank you so much. 223. This is 223, 225. Right here to the right. But here it is. Not too bad. All right. Here's our room 221. My age. This hotel did have great reviews. So, uh, it did it? It did. Okay. Great reviews. So okay. Let's yeah, Lewis is a big review king. He loves his reviews. Mm -hmm. Honey, I'm home. Okay, we'll guys, we'll give you a room tour in a minute, <laughs> but it's okay. It's cozy. It's a little bit more than cozy. This reminds me of my Norwegian Sky Room. Hey, oh, really? <laughs> we made it. Let me see if he's gonna open the door for me or not. <clears throat> Housekeeping. Nobody home. All right, guys. As you enter the room, it's extremely, extremely tiny. It is a standard king size room um as soon as you walk in whoop, there was a window there goes the bed king size bed telephone it does have a light switch right here on the side you can turn on or off there's also a bed lamp it does have two usb ports as you can see telephone right there the bed Something, little tour all around. It's simple. It did not look like the picture <laughs> online. Really small entranceway right here to get to the other side of the bed. Nice size TV though. I'm not gonna lie. No storage space whatsoever. Right here is like a little ottoman that you can sit down. Two little bags fit down there. You have an office desk here then the window of course another night light it also has two su two usb ports right there like i said guys this is extremely extremely tiny it does have hello jim it does have a full length mirror right there so you can look at yourself it also has pay no attention to the man little mini fridge some storage space a safe um here i really do not know There's what no this is for here, right? i don't know if it's to sit down to store your luggage on top no, that's the luggage. it has the little hangers but so you can no hang up your clothing there the is no closet space so whatsoever these hooks here see these it is what here. you're hanging up things on right exactly that's what it is that's all they have look at this little tiny closet look at this little tiny closet and you can't, it's not even a closet. I do not know what this is. If you stayed at this hotel before, please comment in the section below. The fridge was correct. I did show the fridge, it's right there. Now the bathroom's okay. Bathroom's decent. 
Um, it basically has the basic amenities. Basic, exactly. When I say basic, guys, I'm talking about Dub products. Body lotion, uh, what is that right there? I don't even know. Hand wash. Nice, nice shower for two people. You could try to squeeze in the third, but I don't know about that. Um, but yeah, that's it. This is, um, yeah, this is the room. So guys, um, we feel for the price. It's $191. It's a little bit much for this tiny little room, but again, this is just a room. We're basically 10 minutes away from the port. Right. So uh, we have to find out about what type of transportation they provide from here to the port because we're here in Port Everglades is where we're standing out of. But this room is just basically a night room just to stay overnight to a vacation here. Uh, you do get free breakfast. Free breakfast is included, that is correct. It's included, plus it's included. they also hold a $50 price match. Per, no, a $50 accidental fee. Something oh, happens. Yeah. On uh, this credit card, yeah, they, yes. they took $50 and when he checks out tomorrow, they give it back. Depending on your bank, um, you know how banks, Seven to 10 business days you know, is always, like money, most so banks. Quick, they're quick to take your coins, and then, but to put them back, it's a process. But for what Lou paid for this room, I mean, it's cute and everything is nice, but it's just an overnight hotel and we're close to the port. In 10 minutes. But the hotel price dropped like two days ago. End, two days ago. So, and we couldn't cancel this to get a, another room because normally we like to stay at the Holiday Inn Express. But uh, yeah, this is, this is small. It's all, right. it's all right. It's my again me with the hotels. I don't know what's going on. The <laughs> hotels lately. So guys, that was the room tour of our room here at the Avid Hotel in Fort Lauderdale. So basically, again, it was a little bit of a journey to get here. We took our flight. Our flight was late. We were supposed to leave at nine or one in the morning. Ended up departing at ten thirty. We ended up getting here by one forty-five. There's Lou enjoying the bed, but um, paid no attention to the guy back there. Um, <laughs> so. And then we decided uh, to take the tri-rail here. So we ended up had to walk through the terminals. We gave you a little tour of that. And then we had to take the tri-rail. The tri-rail was $5 each. So uh, when we did the tri-rail, we got here to Hollywood International Airport, which is the airport here in Fort Lauderdale. From there, we crossed the street and we ended up ordering an Uber and the Uber ended up costing us 10 bucks. So, I mean, the commute here wasn't too bad, plus our airfare, you know, hey, working for the airlines has that type of perk too, if you know what I mean. But um, the price of this hotel, it's a little pricey. And uh, yeah, we made a mistake booking it. Disappointed. However, we, we're not allowed, we couldn't even cancel it because they, they want to still charge it. Right. We had about a certain time to cancel it without penalties and it was too late already. So anyway, with that said, we'll make the best of it. Mistakes are going to be made when you travel, okay? So make sure that you shop around for hotels that are cheap. Again, we're trying to cruise on a budget, again. But we'll make the best of it. We're gonna get around ourselves up something to eat. Just free breakfast here. I mean, I'm not gonna knock it for that. We always look for a hotel with free breakfast, but at the same time, as us concierge class passengers on board, celebrity reflection, we are invited to a lunch with them at a restaurant. So I don't know if we really need a <laughs> breakfast, but with that said, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Again, Lewis is here with me. We're doing this adventure together. Yes. BX Journeys is back on the map. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends about our channel, your family, your coworkers, and tell us what we're all about. Tell them what we're all about. There's Lou. Welcome back, Lou. Thank you. How does it feel to be back? It was great. All right. Excited to get on the cruise tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow's cruise day. Don't forget that. See you in a bit. We're going to go venture it around and, then, eat. and eat. we need coffee. There's coffee yeah, downstairs. So I need coffee right included. Now. Hey. Hey, guys. So here we are at the pool, the pool area of the hotel. Really much around here. Yeah, this hotel is like in the middle of nowhere. It's Who like strikes out again with the hotel. <laughs> oh yeah, um this hotel is it's decent. Just it basically is an overnight hotel, you know. This is the 
the entrance. And what's funny is that we booked the hotel through Expedia and I'm an ISG member and they won't take my ISG number to get points because I didn't do it through them directly. What's the name of it? This is the place where we have breakfast. They give us continental breakfast tomorrow morning. And those are the coffee machines. Another machine here for coffee. There's the ice dispenser we need it. The bucket's right next to it. Open the gym. And this is a gym. And here's a gym. You're doing that without stretching, Lou? Yes. Of course he is. Shop here if you're hungry at night. You buy some stuff to eat. Let's have some goodies that you can microwave if you're hungry at night. And some goodies down here. Good evening, everyone. Jay here and Lewis BX Journeys yes, together yes. once again. What's e going on? Excited, excited. But yeah, guys. Uh, we are basically, this hotel, this hotel is really interesting, right? It is an interesting hotel. Um, mm. We decided we were just going to call it the night, um, simply because, uh, let me reverse a little bit for you all, if you do not know, we traveled all the way from New York City to Miami International Airport. Getting up at 4.45 a.m. We got up at 4.45 a.m. For a delayed flight. <laughs> correct, correct. <laughs> Now from Miami International Airport, we took the Metro Rail station, which is on level three right. at the airport to walk an extra 15 minutes to catch the Tri-Rail mm -hmm. station, which we only paid was $5 for um, one way to Fort Lauderdale, which is roughly about nine stops you altogether. You paid seven. I paid seven because I didn't realize I purchased a special card. <laughs> that could use in the future. Yeah. But Mine was um, five. Yours is five on the paper, <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, we then took the tri rail right. from Miami to Fort Lauderdale, which was about nine stops. Nice, nice little train if you think about it. It's pretty quick, too. Yeah, decent. We got off Fort Lauderdale. Hollywood International Hollywood, Airport. Correct. Yes, the tri rail station, though. Correct. Then we hopped in an Uber to come to the Advent Hotel. $10 ride. 10, hour ride. 10 minutes. Correct. Now, unfortunately, there's nothing around this area. And we've been to Fort Lauderdale before. We're just used to staying by the beach. Staying by the beach, right, by the right. stores, very touristy area. This area is very industrial. Yeah. The highway yeah. is like the view from our window. In other words, the hotel is nice. It's just very boring. Correct. Around here, normally, when Lewis and I stay at a, at, you know, at a cruise port. Uh, hotel before we leave we always wander around walk around yes. go to dinner yes but there's really nothing around there's here. nothing around here whatsoever nothing so um so we landed up ordering uber eats yeah we had some panda express panda express we're right now just watching tv we're relaxing taking it easy before the big cruise day tomorrow so um yeah that's excited, it excited excited we I are very excited i haven't we have not cruised together in such a long time i can't say this i'm cruising alone this time i'm not solo i'm with the exactly. real little bear right here exactly. in the flesh i'm excited guys. Exactly, really guys. I'm back. This is a big, big, Thank you know, you. big thing. Yeah, this is my new beer right here. So yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, so we're yes. excited. Um, we looked at the menus and what's going on 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 the ship. There's so much going on on this ship. Even though it's a short five night, five four night, five day cruise, 
But the menu looks interesting. There's a lot of stuff for vegans, for, for health conscious, health. what you're trying to be. I'm um, on a, I've been on a plant-based diet, but um, I guess today was a cheat day. Tomorrow, my first day will be a He's cheat, cheat day. Tomorrow. I'm gonna cheat only twice. Mm -hmm. On this cruise, mm -hmm. but then I have out. to also find my key lime pie and key was. And we're gonna learn about Tai Chi. Tai Chi. We're thinking about taking a Tai Chi class. Maybe some yoga. Yes, exactly. You know, well, you, never know. you never know. We're gonna. We're try here to it de stress, relax, to and bring you along and decompress. Right. Correct. With that said, thank you so much for watching our channel, guys. Again, we're here together. We're excited, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow onboard celebrity reflection correct there's a journey out there for you there sure is be safe be safe guys have a good night